We started growing grapes around the year 2000. The terroir on our farms is perfect for almost anything. We found this wonderful winemaker, uh, her name's Amber uh, Pratt. She has such a talent for making wine, and so growing horticulture crops is so second nature to me now, and for her, the winemaking is, it's a good combination. The most of the acreage is on the Road 13, which is part of the Golden Mile sub-appellation. Property in Summerland, where I live now, uh, grows Chardonnay right along the lake. It's a beautiful Chardonnay site, nice cool evenings. And then of course we have a little bit of grapes behind our winery here, which is just outside the Golden Mile sub-appellation, but a fantastic site. And we have some Merlot there. The types of wines that we, we make mostly are Bordeaux blends, uh, Bordeaux varietals, uh, Syrah, and from our Summerland sites, we do a Chardonnay and um, a little bit of Malbec. It doesn't matter where you are, you have to plant what is best for that site. If you try to force your will on a piece of terroir that doesn't want to do that, then you're fighting it. So wherever you are, if you grow what is best for that site, you will be successful. The, the wines start even in the spring of the previous year. Weather and every year is different. And so at the end of a harvest season, I bring the grapes to Amber and I say, Amber, that's it. That's the best I can do this year, that's it. Whatever we have to work with, she will maximize it and she will make a style of wine that will bring out the best of that year, that vintage. Our wines, we enter them into blind competitions and that, and that, that tells you how the world perceives you. Uh, from, from the old world to the new world and the world's getting smaller. As a very young winery, we're, we're very fortunate to be very well recognized in terms of international competitions. You meet people from all over the world and that's what makes um, the wine shop so interesting. Our international online store is also becoming an avenue where people, they may have been in the wine shop. Somebody could enjoy a glass of wine or they were at a restaurant at a wedding and you just never know when there's this connection. And now with computers and online stores, I tape up the boxes and boom, it's at their doorstep. When we grow in the depth of winter, we're pruning the canes and we all for the the end benefit of the customer who has that glass of wine in his, in his glass. All of that, all of the work, all the, everything is for that moment. And when those people are in your wine shop, you see their honest reaction. And that's what it's all about, is the people that enjoy the wine.